Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem of the day that is duplicate subtree in binary tree. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. Given a binary tree, find out whether it contains a duplicate subtree of size 2 or more or not. Two same leaf nodes are not considered as subtree as size of a leaf node is 1. So basically, we are given a binary tree. What is the definition of a binary tree? Each node will have at max 2 children. So either it can have 0 children or 1 children or 2 children, right? We need to find whether it contains duplicate subtree of size at least 2. Now, what is a subtree? Starting with one node, let us consider any node of the binary tree. Starting with that node, if we consider all the uh, nodes which are in its children or children's children, okay, which are in its subtree, that whole is considered as a subtree. So, if a subtree of size 2 or more, so if it has 2 or more nodes, we need to find does a duplicate subtree of size 2 or more exist or not. So, are there two subtrees such that its size is greater than equal to 2 and they are equal or not, okay? So, uh, whether two duplicate subtrees of size 2 or more are present. So, if we look at the example here, look at the subtree starting with 2, it is 2, 4 and 5. Look at the subtree starting with 2, it is 2, 4 and 5. So, these are duplicates, so the output is 1, okay? 2, 4, 5 is the duplicate subtree and its size is 3, there are 3 elements. If we look at here, here there are no duplicate subtrees. Also, leaf node with size 1 is not considered as a uh, subtree, okay? The subtree size should be at least 2. Your task is to complete the function duplicate subtree which takes root of the tree as the only argument and returns 1 if the binary tree contains a duplicate subtree of size 2 or more, else 0, okay? So, we will return 1 if we get a duplicate subtree, otherwise 0. The expected time complexity is big O of n and expected space complexity is big O of n, okay? So, now here we need to find whether a duplicate subtree of size 2 or more is present or not. So, first of all, the definition of subtree should be very clear, okay? So, suppose if I consider the subtree starting with node 110, so what will be then there in it? 110 will be considered as the root node and all the nodes which are below it should be considered, okay? So, starting with uh, uh, node number 9, if you consider this as the root node, if you consider the subtree starting with node number 9, then you cannot consider 9 and 8 as a subtree, okay? The subtree starting with node number 9 is 9, 8 and 7. All the three should be present. You cannot ignore 7. That's the first thing. Second thing, tell me the duplicate subtrees in this tree, okay? So, one is starting with 110, 110, left child is 10, then 9, here it is 2, 8 and 7. Look here, 110, 10, 9, 2, 8 and 7. So, I can say I have got the first duplicate subtree. Tell me one more. 10 and its right child is 2. 10 and its right child is 2. See, here there is no left child. So, that I can ignore. This subtree is of size 2. I can consider it. But here I cannot ignore 7 if it was present. Okay. So, this 10 and 2, this is the second duplicate subtree which is present. Okay. Now, tell me, does 987 and 987 are duplicate subtrees? No. Because your 7 is the right child of 98 and your 7 is the left child of 98. So, these are not duplicate subtrees. So, we need to take care of these also, okay, left child and right child, okay. Now, what we can say is, see, understand, 110, 10, 9, 2, 8 and 7, this and this, 110, 10, 9, 2, 8 and 7, these two are duplicate subtrees. Now, if there is a duplicate subtree of size more than uh, equal to 3, right, then I, I do not need to check these big subtrees. I can check subtrees of size 2 and 3 as well. That will be covered. Why? Because if this whole subtree is duplicate with this whole subtree, this subtree is also a duplicate of this and this is also duplicate of this. So, what I am trying to say is we do not need to consider all the subtrees of size greater than equal to uh, 3. We can consider subtrees of size 2 or 3, right? So, we need to consider subtrees where the left child after uh, the left child is a leaf node, the right child is a leaf node. So, this is a subtree of size 3 because if a bigger subtree is present duplicate, okay, so this is a big subtree and its duplicate is present. 
then even the smaller subtrees duplicate will be definitely present. So no need to check for this big subtrees duplicate. It would be difficult to check. Just check the subtrees of size 3 and 2 and check for their duplicates. So subtrees of size 3 will be of what kind? They would be of this kind. The left and the right child would be leaf nodes. There would be no further nodes. So, and what would be the subtrees of size 2? They would be of two kinds. One where the right child is null. The left child is a leaf node. This is a subtree of size 2 which we need to consider and another is where the right child is a leaf node and the left child is null. This is also a subtree of size 2. So basically what we need to do is we need to check for all the subtrees which are either this type or this type or this type and check whether their duplicates are present or not. Okay. We only need to check this because they are a sub part of this big subtrees. So if this big subtree has a duplicate of it, this small subtrees of size 3 and their duplicates will definitely be present. So just check for this. Now how will we check it? So what we will do is we will take a set of strings. We will take a set of string S and in this set we will insert the subtrees of these three kinds, the characters of the subtrees of these three kinds. Okay. So suppose here it is 1, here it is 2 and here it is 3. Then we will insert 1, 2 and 3 in the set. Okay. So this is first type. If this type of substring is there and we need to push that value inside the set, then what we will do? Let's say this is 1 and this is 2 and right child is null. So instead of right child, I'll take a dollar sign. So this would be represented as 1, 2 and dollar. Okay. And these kind of subtrees, what we will do? Suppose I have year 1, year 2 and the left child is null. So what will this be equivalent to? 1, dollar and 2. Okay, be careful. This is 1, 2 and 3. So the root node, the left child and the right child. This is uh, 1, 2 and right child. Right child is null, so dollar. And this is 1, left child is null, so dollar. And then the right child. So here the dollar come after and here the dollar comes before. Okay. So these two are not equivalent. As I said here, 98.7 and 98.7 are not equivalent. So basically for all the subtrees which are either of this kind or of this kind or of this kind, we will calculate a string of length 3 respective to that subtree. So for this it would be 1, 2, 3. For this it would be 1, 2 dollar and for this it would be 1 dollar 2. And we will insert that sub substring in the set. And whenever a substring of this length 3 uh, representing a subtree is repeated, it is uh, present in set and it is repeated again. At that time, we can say we have found a duplicate and we will return yes. If none of the strings of length 3 uh, are repeated in the set, then we can say that there is no duplication and we will return 0. Now, let's look at its actual code. So now if we look at the actual implementation, so here uh, this is the function which we need to complete. We are given the root of the binary tree. So first of all, I have taken a set of string as discussed. Then I have taken an answer variable marked it as zero. So basically I have assumed that there are no duplicates. If I will find a duplicate, I'll make my answer variable as one. Then I'll call the check for duplicates function and I'll pass root s that the set of string and answer variable and finally I'll return the answer. Okay. Now if we look at this function check for duplicate. So first of all, if root is null, then we will directly return. Then I'll take two variables p1, p2 and string s as empty string. Okay. Now p1 will be check node type for root left. So check the left uh, child type. What type of node is that? And p2 will be uh, check what type of uh, node is the right child. Now what does this check node function do? So check node function basically checks if that pointer is null. It means there is no node present so return 0. 0 means no node is present. It is null. If that is not null but root left is null and root right is null. It means that left child is null and right child is null but itself is not null. It means it is a leaf node. So I'll return 1 else I'll return 2. So basically 0 means no node is present, 1 means it is a leaf node and 2 otherwise. Okay. So now if we come back here again, so P1 will store the uh, type of node uh, which is the left child of the current root and P2 will store the type of node of the right child. Now if P1 and P2 both are 0, it means there is uh, no node on the left child and no node on the right child. Both of them are null. It means the current node is a leaf node. 
now that does not form a subtree of size greater than equal to 2 right we only need to check subtree of size greater than equal to 2 so we do not do anything if p1 is 0 and p2 is 1 so what does that mean so if p1 is 0 so left child is null but p2 is 1 so right child is a leaf node and if it was 2 it was neither null nor leaf node it would be some internal node so uh, left child is null so there is no child on the left side and the right child is a leaf node so this is a subtree so how do we represent it suppose this is 1 this is 2 it will be 1 dollar 2 because this is null it would be represented by dollar so what i do is first i take the root data in the string s then i add dollar sign so root data dollar sign and then the right child data okay and i find whether that this string was present in the set before set of string is s1 so if it was present before then we have got a duplicate so if s1 dot find is not equal to s1 dot end we have got a duplicate so i'll mark answer variable s1 okay and irrespective of this i'll insert the s that is the string s in the set s1 the second case is p1 is 1 and p2 is 0 so p1 is 1 it means the left child is a leaf node and p2 is 0 so this is null so what how will i represent this 1 2 and dollar sign so what i'll do i'll take the data of the root node in the string s then i'll add the left child data and then i'll add the dollar sign to represent the right child as null then again i'll check whether it was present in the set if present i'll make the answer variable one we, we have got a duplicate otherwise i'll uh, and i'll insert it in the set okay the third case is if p1 is 1 and p2 is 1 that is the case when left child is also leaf node and right child is also leaf node so we represent it as 1 2 and 3 so i'll take the root data in string s then i'll add the left child data and then i'll add the right child data again the same thing if i'll check whether it is present in the set or not if present make the answer variable one we have got a duplicate and add it in the set now let's look the last case so now if we look at the last part so the first uh, so these three parts covered what they covered the subtrees of type this type this and type this also so if it is not of any of these parts so what i'll basically do is i'll call recursively for further childs okay so suppose i am here okay now here the left child is also not a leaf node right child is also not a leaf node and what we said we will store the subtree the string of the subtree of size 2 or 3 only okay so from here if this is not a leaf node this is not a leaf node so call recursively and go here call recursively and go here now store the sub, this subtree data in the set okay so we need to go recursively in the child so if p1 equals to 2 it means the left child understand there were three things p1 can be 0 1 or 2 0 means it is empty 1 means it's a leaf node and 2 means it's an internal node so if the left child is an internal node call recursively check for duplicates on root left and the uh, pass the set and answer variable similarly if right child is an internal node call this function and check recursively right so basically we are storing the strings representing subtrees of size 2 and 3 and whenever we get a duplicate we mark answer variable as 1 what would be the time complexity the time complexity would be big O of n log n. Why? Because n are the number of uh, nodes which we are traversing. Okay. And let's assume that the, at max there would be n subtrees of size 2 and 3. Now inserting a subtree of size 2 and 3, inserting that 3 length string inside a set which contains at max n number of substrings of size 3 takes log n time. And checking whether a string is present or not will also take log n time. Okay. So the time complexity would be n log n and the auxiliary space would be the auxiliary space would be equal to big O of n. Why? Because of two reasons. One is the number of substrings which we are inserting in the set. There will not be more than n. And the other thing is the recursion stack because we are calling recursion on the binary tree. Okay. So suppose my binary tree is like this then my recursion will go like this and uh, visit all the nodes so in the recursion stack i will have the details of all these five nodes okay because they are recursively called so that can also occupy at max n size so that is also big o of n now let's submit this code so let's submit it
so we have solved this question successfully i hope you understood the solution completely thank you